Hello. Sorry I've been away for a while, but all this time I've been working on a simple but very complicated motion cubes al algorithm. This is my first time doing a lot of this stuff, so I have to learn it all, such as the IMGY uh, that I have set up. That took me like a couple weeks on its own because I use C Sharp and it's made for C++ so I had to find some alternative way to use it. But I did end up getting it working and I'm using OpenGK for the, for the rendering and stuff. Right now I just have a mesh but let me go, let me show this off and I'm gonna start with the noise. Because that's like the first thing I did. First thing I got working. Normals is a little bit easier to uh, see clearly as for noise. But I think it looks cool. And then I also have smooth. Which I don't know if it works for... No, it doesn't because I didn't add that. But smooth, I'll get to that later. And I also tried to do normal shading. Smooth shading, or normal shading, is really hard for some reason, and I don't know why... I don't know why it's so hard for me to get working. I had so many problems with it, it still doesn't even work. work. And I think... oh, smooth angle doesn't even work. What did I break there? Dang it. Well, we can ignore that, because I'm done working on this for now. I want to work on something new. Now, and then I can also, I, uh, now I can rotate it. So I added this function just recently. This was like the last thing I did. And I, and I have a auto rotate function. So without having to turn it, I can go through moving caverns. And it's just rotating the point, the sample point. So while the grid stays the same orientation, the actual point in the noise I sample from gets rotated around the center point. So I could change all these variables and make it spin like a madman. But I'm going to turn that off so, so we can move on to the next. Now we have a cube, which I already have it rotated. But this is the blocky cube. This is binary. Uh, if the point is inside the cube, be on. If it's outside, it's off. But then when I switch to smooth, it gives it the distance. So if it's less than, if the sample point, huh, how do I explain this? Well, it's not stupid. If the grid point, is less than a certain amount of distance, it will be activated with that distance. Uh, uh, I don't really understand it, honestly. It's still an algorithm, and I did not make a lot of this code myself. I wrote the code myself, but I didn't make the algorithm for it, and I still don't really understand it. And smooth shading works here, it's still a little bit messed up. Oh, and yeah. You can go inside the cube. And auto ro rotate also works. Let me tone it down so it's not so chaotic. And it works without being smooth as well. Which I love looking at it. It's kind of mesmerizing. And the way I made these shapes is by using SDFs, sign distance functions. I talked about that in my way marching video. Or Ray marching, yeah, cute. A sphere marching or ray marching, whatever you want to call it. Next, let me turn off auto rotate. Next, we have a torus, which I also made with a sphere marching function, or not a sphere marching, a sign distance function. If it's inside, it'll be uh, the mesh will be there, and if it's outside, or positive it will be air. Which I, I, I think I like this the most. And it's the one that smooth shading works the best on. Which is kind of sad. I hate this smooth shading kind of disappoints me. Oh, wait. 
Oh, now it's working. The heck? So, yeah, the angle is working. I just have to update it. Oh, right. I, I remember. Well, too late to fix it now. I like to set it at 30. That's what Blender has. And then here are the normals. I love looking at normals. They're kind of pretty in some ways. And my lighting without the normals is just based on the angle of the sun. There's no shadows. There's no real shadows. So if I rotate this in such a way, where it should be blocking the light, and you still see light, yeah, there's no shadows. I would love to do shadows next. Maybe let me know if I should do shadows next. Next, we have the almighty sphere. Oh, and right, I have reflections. I think, yeah. You can kind of see the reflections. Or like, bouncing off, shininess. Smooth shading also kind of kind of works, but it, I still have these kind of blocking edges, although they're not really visible. They're still there, and they annoy me a lot. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because of these tiny little chimes, tiny things, right there. Because that kind of yeah, it might be those. It might be the mesh that's messing it up, since it also happens here. Okay, well I still don't know how I would fix those. Maybe some smoothing on the actual mesh afterwards, after the mesh is constructed. Then normal views with smooth shading. Oh, and also without. And then rotating does nothing because it's a sphere. And I rotate the sample points, not the mesh. So I like the smooth on this. Did I show you? Oh, I didn't. I love this. This was... I think I made the torso right before I made the smoothing. And I just watched it for hours while also rotating like this. Because it's so mesmerizing. Watching all the points. Just move around. And it's very layered, right? Uh, layered looking. Because of the motion cubes. I love it. And then you could fly through it. Still a kid. Smoothing! Oh, and that looks so weird without it being smooth shaded. Because it, it just looks like the vertices are moving instead of the mesh. That doesn't make sense. I'm just rambling. Next, we have the cylinder, which is already rotating. Stop rotating. rotating. Then we have the non smooth. Which I think looks fine. Kind of looks like a Minecraft sphere or a circle, just with 90 degrees. Love vertical Minecraft circle. Then we have smoothing. Let me get because I don't really like this. I don't know what I did wrong here. If I did do anything wrong, it it just bends weirdly. That might just be the motion cubes. Yeah, and then smooth shading should get rid of it, but again we have these weird line artifacts. Which I, I just gave up on because I always spent like a week doing the normal. Just the normal and the normal views. Which I can toggle between the... And the smooth shading helps the top and the sides be separated. If I put this all the way up, then it then it kind of blends in. Let me put it back down to 30. Now we have special, which is made with the motion cube or not motion cubes, uh SDFs. I did this with a sphere, a cube, which only gets the max, I think. Yeah. Sphere on the cube and the max, and then a boolean uh, subtraction in the middle between a cylinder and the max shape between the cube and the sphere. Now I can turn off smoothing, which kind of loses a lot of its shape, especially when you rotate it. 
which I like. I, I still like both, and without smooth shading, which is mesmerizing when you watch it auto rotate it without the smooth shading, because all the points just move around, which is so weird. And uh, where's smooth shading? At a max, which rounds this off weirdly. And there's still some sharp corners here. Yeah. Back to 30, here we go. And the normals. Which I added the normals last, I think? Yeah. Smooth without. There's not much to talk about, to be honest. I thought this would make a great video, but not really. And then we have one last thing that took basically a couple, another week. I don't think this adds up, but I was doing two, a lot of stuff at the same time. So a lot of it was overlapping. This last one is the mesh. Oh, let me stop on a rotation. This is an icosphere, just mesh from Blender, and it's still not working. I guarantee you it's not working, because, oh, I just closed it. Because, in the, as you saw in the thumbnail, there's a bunch of artifacts, and it takes so long. It takes so long to generate. But this took me, a, like, a whole day, just trying to get it open the file selector. If we go to models, for fun, motion cubes text, now it has to load for like a good minute or three minutes or five minutes. Oh, there we go. Actually, it did it while I was talking. And then we have these artifacts. Because I'm not using ray casting uh, to see if it's within or outside the mesh. I'm purely doing it SDF style. Well, I see how... What's what's the nearest triangle? So this is supposed to be the th thumbnail, just really scaled down because I have the size. I can select the size up here. Best is 35, but I can. But the thumbnail thumbnail I set to 240. So 240 squared is how many cubes? Oh, and then if I switch it to smooth, it should bubble up for some reason. Which is one of the input. Oh, now it just disappears. Okay, great. You can see it's it's not working. I, I I think I'm just gonna have to put a stop on this uh, project for a little bit. And the holes on the sides that also bothers me. But that's about it. Uh, with the normal. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you. Oh, great, the smooth shading broke it. And I'll see you in the next one. That sounded so cringe. Goodbye!